Welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today I'm doing another empties video I was planning to do these like every two months or so but I was looking through my empties drawer and I realized I had a lot of products especially a lot of skincare products so you know I split up my products I'm doing all the skincare today and then in like a week or two I'll do all of my makeup empties so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever that video goes up I have quite a few skincare empties and I'm also including one hair care product a lotion and then whatever makeup removers that I went through so before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like empties and you want to see any more in the future and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video so the first products that I went through were a couple of makeup remover wipes I have two of my favorite wipes right here these are the Neutrogena night common cleansing towelettes they're my all-time favorites. I love them to death. If you want to hear more about these, I'll go ahead and link my most recent skincare video up above. I go in depth of um, different skincare makeup removers that I like to use and different like liquid removers as well. Another makeup remover that I've tried and did not really like are the ones from e.l.f. These are the gentle cleansing cloths. They're supposed to be good for your sensitive skin. I felt like these were way too dry. I was tugging at my skin and I had to add like another makeup remover to the wipe to get it to work. So I wouldn't rebuy really this. I wouldn't really recommend them. I had already bought them so I used them up. You get 20 cloths per packet which is less than my favorite brand. I think you get 25 in that. Wouldn't really recommend these. They're not great for sensitive skin. I don't even have like really sensitive skin and this irritated me. Next, I have another makeup remover favorite. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover from Neutrogena. This is one of my favorite eye makeup removers of all time. It is gentle and it works very well. I just put a little bit onto a cotton pad, hold it on the eye, and then wipe it right off. This is one of the only cleansers that really removes everything from the eye. Because with other either micellar waters or eye makeup removers, I end up having to go in and like scrub at my eye just to get like the mascara and stuff off. Not with this one. I just wipe it off. I might go in one more time if I had like really thick liner on that day. But I do enjoy this one. I'm currently using another backup that I had of this product. Definitely would rebuy. I have a micellar water. This is like a, not travel size, but it's like a mini size. It's from Garnier. It is the Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One. It's oil, alcohol, and fragrance free. I personally just didn't like this one at much. It gets the job done. Like it takes your makeup off, but... I found that I was using this on like those dry makeup wipes where it technically already has like makeup remover in it so I was just using this to like dampen wipes that I didn't really like. So in that aspect it helped out the wipes but based on its performance alone I wouldn't really recommend this one or buy it again. I have a toner empty from Sunday Riley. This is the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. I really didn't like this one. For my toners I'm very particular. I like them. Like when I use a toner, I like to feel refreshed and I like not the tingly feeling, but like I want it to feel like the dry down, like it feels like refreshed. I like I don't know any other way to describe it other than like you feel refreshed when you use a toner. With this one, I didn't feel anything when I was using it. I didn't really see any improvements in my skin when I was using it. I have some toners that I can really tell a difference. Like they help out with my breakouts and they help with the overall evenness of my skin. This one really didn't do anything for me. So, I mean, I'm glad I tried it out. It came in a kit with two other products that I really liked and enjoyed. So I did want to just go ahead and use it up, which I did, but I would not recommend this or rebuy it. I have like a million serum empties right now. <laughs> okay, so this one's a bit old. This is the Collagen and Retinol Serum from Measurable Difference. I used this one up before I actually tried out the Retinol from Sunday Riley and also the Retinol from The Ordinary. I did not like this one. I saw no difference in my skin like at all nothing so I wouldn't really recommend this one I do have a few other serums from this brand that I really enjoy and I think that they're worth the price this just isn't one of them speaking of measurable difference a serum that I really really enjoy is their vitamin C serum I currently have two backups of this I'm using one and then this one's an empty 
so I have four like in my house right now so that is you know a testament to how much I enjoy this and think it's affordable I get all mine from TJ Maxx and they're $6.99 and it's a good size bottle this lasts me about a month I do use it every morning in my skincare routine again that is up in my skincare video which I will link above and in the description box below I just really like this one I can feel a difference in like the moisture of my skin I like how fast it absorbs into the skin as well because in the morning I'm trying to go a little bit faster I'm trying to get ready for work I'm trying to just get it all done and out the door this one takes less than 30 seconds to absorb fully into my skin and then I jump on with my moisturizer really enjoy this one would really recommend it you can get it at TJ Maxx or on the hush app the shop hush app but it is like double the price on the Shop Hush app because the actual like retail value of this is like $12.99. But if you can get it at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, it's only six like $99 or $7. Really worth it for that price. Whenever I go like and I see it at a TJ Maxx, like I buy all the bottles that I see there because I, I need this. The next three empties are from Sunday Riley. I have, these are all mini sizes, I think. These aren't the full oil sizes because I got both of these or all three of these in a kit. The first one is the UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. Now this one I saw a little bit of difference when I added it into my routine. Not a big enough difference for me to go out and like buy it again, if that makes sense. It was definitely better than not using an oil at all, but I have certain oils that work better for me and for my skin. I will say the little like the mini sizes you get in the kit it is a good size that you get this one la I didn't use this one every day but it did last me about two and a half months I think if you used it every day you'd probably get a month month and a half out of it again I did see a little bit of difference I saw my breakouts go down a little bit but not nearly as much as when I use this next product which is one that I will definitely be rebuying and that I've already bought <laughs> and that is the Luna sleeping night oil this is the one product that has made the biggest difference in my skin. I've tried finding cheaper alternatives and nothing works as well, unfortunately. Unfortunately for my wallet. Um, so again, this was the mini size. I used this, at first I spaced it out, used it like twice a week and then three times a week and then I built it up to using it every night. It's a retinoid. It says that it reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and surface redness. I actually did see a reduction in my redness. I get really red right here on my cheeks and I did have some furrows in my forehead that were a lot deeper before I started using this. But again, I only saw those differences after using this and then the Rebot bottle for several, several weeks. This also made the biggest difference in my breakouts. I had the clearest face I've had ever when I added this oil into my routine. And that for me is worth the price. I've already bought the full size of this product. As you can see, the bottle is a lot bigger, the full size than the little mini baby. Yeah, it's like two and a half times the size of the little mini baby. I'm actually finishing up another little mini that I bought and then I will break into the full size. I really am trying to strategize my skincare routine and focus on the things that really work for me and if I can help it I'm really only going to use one really high-end product and right now the one high-end product is the Luna Sleeping Oil because I have not found anything that can replace it. I was using the retinoid emulsion from The Ordinary and that worked okay but not nearly as well as this one. The last product from Sunday Riley that I have an empty of and it's a bit messy. <laughs> it's a bit messy because I really took it out and like squeezed it to use every single last drop that I could get out of it and that is the Good Genes Lactic Acid Treatment. I actually really liked this treatment. I wouldn't use it every day because it was a bit rough using it that often. I used to use this before I really got into my vitamin C regimen. You can use a, a lactic acid and a vitamin C at the same time but I found with my skin I really couldn't and I really wanted to use more vitamin C. So after this one was done I just fully went into vitamin C in the mornings and didn't really reach for another lactic acid. But I really did enjoy this product. I just wouldn't buy another full size because like I said before, I'm trying to reduce the amount of high-end skincare that I have just because it can get really expensive. Especially because you have to rebuy these things every few like weeks or months. 
I have two empty moisturizers to talk about. One is a little sample size that I got from the little sample kit from Drunk Elephant. And this is the Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Moisturizer. The bottle was a little bit bigger. I did cut it open to get every little drop out of it that I could. This was a very, very thick moisturizer. I found that it was almost too thick for me to really use in the morning before I do my full makeup routine. It does have SPF. It has SPF 30 in it, but it did feel like you were slathering like pure sunscreen on in the morning. I didn't see a huge difference in like moisture when I was using this one and ultimately that's why I didn't like it and I wouldn't rebuy it because my skin can get really really dry and I do and I can suffer from dry patches if I'm not careful and ultimately in my skincare routine I am looking for more moisture than I am for UV protection because I can always add in an SPF to my routine so this one unfortunately wasn't for me a moisturizer that I really love and I've bought multiples of is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Now this one I think is kind of like a travel size because I have the full size downstairs right now and it's almost double the size but I love this stuff. It's one of the only moisturizers that I keep coming back to and keep using. In the summer, I will use the gel version of this one, which is just a little bit lighter, but this one gives me just the right amount of moisture. It really balances out my skin and it just helps keep everything together. Like it just seals in all of my serums and everything. I love this moisturizer so, so much. Oh no, I skipped a serum, but it's a serum that I really didn't like, so I can see why I forgot it in the basket. This is the sample size of the Sea Firmer Day Serum from Drunk Elephant. It is a vitamin C serum that I really, I didn't see a difference between this one and my $6.99 serum, so there's no way I'm going to spend like $100 on this serum when I can get the same thing for my skin from TJ Maxx for $6.99. So I tried out the sample, it didn't work for me, not a huge fan, wouldn't buy it. The last two products I have are not skincare, but they kind of fall into the skincare-esque like they're not makeup so they're going in here <laughs> one is a dry shampoo and one is a hand lotion the hand lotion is the shea butter french lavender hand cream from bath and body works i love this scent i love these little mini sizes because i keep them in my purse and i take them everywhere with me love them really the only uh lotions or hand creams that i like are from bath and body works i love 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 their aromatherapy line Oh, I know they changed the packaging on them, but I used to love the like the purple bottle and then the green bottle. I have like three of them in like my backup drawers. It's a lot, but they go on sale. If they go on sale, buy them because I would never buy them full price because they're a little expensive. Got to keep an eye on the time. I'm about to leave for work, <laughs> but they're a little bit expensive. So buy them when they're on sale. These also go on sale where you can get a couple of them like five for $10 or something like that. I love this. Love traveling with it. Would highly recommend. The next one is like a little mini size of one of my favorite dry shampoos. It's from the Dry Bar. It is the Detox Dry Shampoo uh, shampooing set. I love the scent of this. This is like my favorite smelling dry shampoo of all time. I don't know what it is. Like, oh, I can't describe it. It smells like, like fresh, like fresh hair. Like at a salon, like fresh salon hair. Like you walk out of the salon and you go, Fwah, and you smell your hair. That's what it smells like. Ah. Like I just, I love this for the scent alone. It can leave a little bit of a white cast in my very dark hair. So I have to be careful to spray it like from far out or not, or not to build it up too much. But if I spray a little bit, brush it through, it works wonders. And it smells amazing. Like, ah. Uh. I just love the smell of this. Like if they made this a candle, I'd be all over it. So those are all of my skincare and miscellaneous empties. Thank you so much for staying throughout this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to catch any of my future videos. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.